Buzz. Welcome to your reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your psychic tarot reading for, for you, my love. And here's what I picked up. I picked up that you have your phone nearby and you're keeping it like face up right in front of you because you're waiting on, you're, you really are waiting for someone to text you back or to reach out to you. This could be about a job, about the health of a family member about someone's news like if someone's going to be studying abroad or if they're going to be where you are or news about a divorce going through or a settlement happening or there's something though you're waiting to hear about something but I feel like you're you're very much about keeping the phone close and making sure that you don't miss this call or that you don't miss this you know whatever it is so let's see who the first person is this is the person waiting for the call page of staves the five of cups wow really wanting to get over something to get through something so this person could be um, someone who made a little boo-boo made a little mistake and they're really eager for a breath of fresh air they're really looking forward to the future and trying to they're actually trying to focus on the two cups that are left over they're not really trying to sweep that under the rugs. let's move on from that moment where I didn't look my very best or I didn't react my very best I'm trying to find a better sorry Libra sorry okay the next person the person on the other side yeah, I feel like this person, yeah, waiting for the word, the king of swords. This other, this is the other person, so <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. The other person is, oh, sorry is not good enough. Sorry is not going to cut it. Sorry is not... If that's resin, I'm sorry, this is so distracting. Hold on. No, it's all just gonna be, maybe if I just move like that. Sorry, Libra, the sun is setting. So this is what we have to work with, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so one person is absolutely the, I want to just leave it all behind. I want to move on. I want to move forward. Please let us move forward. Please. And the other person is saying, we can move forward when it all checks out. We can move forward when everything is handled. <laughs> we can move forward when everything gets put in its place, when everything gets settled. We can move forward when all the apologies are logged, when all of the everything is taken care of okay so someone's definitely being more unforgiving about it just but it's not really that unforgiving it's just uh, about being in black and white you just Libra this is probably you because this is your energy the king of swords there's very little emotion involved for you for this first person the one waiting probably waiting for you to text them back waiting for you to say it's okay waiting for you to move forward they are the ones who have the regret they're the ones who are feeling more emotional about this what's going on between you two what's the energy like between you two right now well that's interesting we have this is so weird the world with the queen of wands that's weird and then we have the ten of cups and the judgment as well and then we have the two of staves and the magician in the reverse as well this is a lot going on between you two this is a lot i feel like this i feel like i'm channeling people libra uh, i feel like i'm channeling people who this is like a, a pattern a cycle like you maybe not this exact thing 
but having something come up between you and another person and this is about how both of you resolve conflict moving forward so libra with this world energy with the queen of wands i feel like this is time for both of you to put down the ego for both of you to sort of Put down the ego just really acknowledge what's your side of the street what's their side of the street so that you can both really move forward meaningfully because this this is like bringing the cycle like getting off of the merry-go-round so that you can try a different merry-go-round you know it's it's just like it's getting old coming back around it's getting old apologizing it's getting old being the smarter one it's getting old you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm getting with that and then with the judgment and the ten of cups this is kind of the moment in the cycle where you get to decide if you commit to the merry-go-round for life or if you step off because the judgment is no going back. You don't undo the judgment. I mean, the judgment can be a resurrection, which would still fit into this whole cycle of the cyclical nature of it and then the resurrection part. However, I feel with the magician and the two of staves being in reverse, I feel like there is an end to someone's desire for it. It's almost like someone doesn't even care about happily ever after anymore. It's it, it wore itself out. It feels like it just wore itself out. Like there's nothing here anymore. And I feel like it's you, Libra. I feel like you're the one that's sort of like you don't even care if you get an apology. Yeah, I feel like Libra is ready to book it on this one. We're going to take this over into the extended to clarify Libra. So if this is resonating with you, this person has regret. They're very enthusiastic about moving forward. A lot of apology. It could even be dramatic, like dramatic apologies and dramatic displays of affection and attention. Ego, pride. Okay, so if this is resonating for you guys, feel free to join me on the flip side and I will see you there shortly if so. Otherwise, Libras, I am sending you all of my very best photons and the best of luck with everything. <laughs> with everything, my dears. If you need me with a personal reading, you can book me. Link below the artigan.com slash shop and I will talk about your life directly to the camera for you and that is your reading file that you get to keep forever and ever and ever. So, Libs. Have a great week ahead, next couple weeks, and I'll see you in your next reading leaves. Bye. It's like too much of the same, too. Like, it's not changing. It's, it's like literally the merry-go-round. Why they just don't feel bad. They just don't feel bad. They don't stay feeling bad. They're just... It's very easy for them to be this climber-type person. And it's to your detriment. They're taking advantage of you. But not everyone gets the view from the inside of the castle like this Ten of Pentacles. Not everyone gets to, you know what I'm saying? But this person wants to, this person has that, that ambition to achieve 